Hey guys, today I'm bringing you another custom Minecraft launcher. This one is called Magic Launcher, and it's a great tool for beginner mod installers. Um, if you are a previously experienced mod installer, I would recommend going to check out my Multi-MC Spotlight, which is another custom Minecraft launcher. Uh, I won't get into that, but there's going to be a link to that up here in the corner. and. Uh, you're gonna, well, here we go. Magic Launcher is a custom, another custom Minecraft launcher, and it can load mods dynamically without changing or patching the Minecraft.jar. And it has a few other really cool features, but I really like this uh, page here, which opens up as soon as you've uh, opened up Magic Launcher. Obviously, it's not Minecraft 1.1 right now, unless you've decided to for some reason keep Minecraft 1.1 but it has a reddit link to the Minecraft pages uh, Notch's Twitter page, Jeb's Twitter page the Minecraft Tumblr page um, the Minecraft forum updates page and the curse uh, page and in this launcher you have a selectable Minecraft .jar which means that you can select different Minecraft .jars um, which is kind of like the multi-MC feature in creating different Minecraft jars, but in this case you'll have to download multiple Minecraft jars yourself and select them from the menu. Um, you can also just customize Java in a bunch of different ways on how you want to load your uh, instance created. Uh, you, these uh, mods um, don't need meta inf to be deleted because you're just patching it and it doesn't need to be deleted. I won't get into that, it's a little complicated. But um, the mods each have automatic mod compatibility checking, and the checking is um, a really cool feature. Um, some mods will get this uh, no mods found. Uh, description next to it, don't worry about that, I'll go over it. It really doesn't mean anything, but on to something else. The uh, external mods are configurable, and there's a shortcut to the external mods folder, which is kind of cool. Um, not really that useful for people that are beginner mod installers, but that's besides the point. Um, so you're going to go ahead and download Magic Launcher for Windows, Mac, or Linux. And there's a few common problems that pop up when using Magic Launcher. Um, the order of the mods is the most important feature that needs to be uh, addressed. And um, some mods will overwrite other mods. For example, Optifine over overwrites many mod files and needs to be installed last into the Minecraft.jar. If you have Optifine, of course, which I hope you do, because Optifine is amazing. And um, the mod, lo mod loader or forge has to be first. Extremely important. This is the thing that modifies Minecraft and then allows mods to be to modify them them without modifying the uh, uh, Minecraft .jar directly. Uh, already said about Optifine. Oh yeah, you need a clean Minecraft.jar, so if you've already modded your Minecraft.jar or attempted to, then I recommend re-downloading the Minecraft.jar so you can uh, work with a clean one. Uh, here's the no mods found issue. The uh, they, do, they don't need to be repackaged, actually. it's a, it, That was uh, addressed in a recent update to this. And uh, yeah, just keep it. It doesn't really mean anything. Only a few to mean something in your very rare occurrences for that to happen and yeah um, I'll see you guys on the launch page hey guys here we are in the magic launcher and here's the launch page that I talked about earlier I won't talk about it again but uh, as you can see it updates for the most recent version of Minecraft uh, with ease as it uh, just uh, pushes straight to the default Minecraft launcher. Which, um, 
down here, you put in your username and password, which I already have, and just click Remember Me, um, just so you don't have to type it in every single time. Um, there's a configuration file, which you can go here to set up, and you're gonna, you can select your own configuration if you've uh, down downloaded one from the internet or created a different one. Uh, it shows your Minecraft jar version and the Minecraft dot jar that you've selected, which you can press this button over here and select any Minecraft dot jar that you have in your uh, system. And uh, this is the mods tab, and the mods tab uh, has this little download button here that will take you straight to the Minecraft forums on the mods page. And uh, you can go and download any mods that you wish to use in Minecraft. Um, before th doing that though, I recommend downloading Mod Loader or Forge. I recommend Forge over Mod Loader, but it's your choice. They're great modding tools that allow you to install many different kinds of mods. Um, if you're if you want to use better than wool than wolves, then download Mod Loader because he'll never uh, decide to use Forge. And basically any other mod, just download Forge because it works with it. Uh, here you have the add tab, so once you've gone and downloaded those mods, then you just go ahead and press your little add tab there. And you can, uh, well, I'll press it now, and you just select it from anywhere you have it inside your computer. So if you click this button here, it takes you straight to your desktop. And, uh, well, sorry, you click on that folder, it brings you to the desktop. And, uh, yeah, that once you select a folder, it'll bring you straight back here. So if I leave this, press cancel. And it, if I press add again, then you can just go ahead and go straight back there. Um, once you've pressed open uh, file, then it will go straight back to whatever folder that you most uh, recently opened, which is really useful. Uh, so you don't have to go and find it every single time. Uh, here's the up and down tab, which are useful for what I talked about earlier, which was the uh, order of the mods. Forge going first, Optifine going last, everything else in the middle. Um, also, there's a replace tab, so if there's a new version of the mod out, then you can download that and press the replace button, and it'll bring you the same screen. And uh, you can just go ahead and select wherever you downloaded that, and it, uh, select the mod that is the old version of it, and just replace it. Um, there's also a remove tab, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is the external mods uh, tab, but I won't get into that, because that's for experienced modders. Also, there's an advanced tab, so you can use uh, window size, maximize your full screen, so it's custom window size right there. Uh, I'll allocate memory, uh, choose the Java version, so if you press custom, you can press select, then you can maybe, uh, if you downloaded 1.5, then you can go and select Java 1.5 if you want to. There's also a base folder, which is where your Minecraft.jar is located um, by default, but you can change this if you've changed the location of your Minecraft folder. Um, now we're going to go back here, and if you, after you've gone and installed all your mods and everything, and made all the configurations that you want to, then you can go ahead and press this test button right here, and it's going to test Minecraft for you. So I press that, Minecraft, there you go. It uh, tests for you, you can press single player, start a new world, uh, just test out any worlds that you have in that Minecraft.jar. And, um, yeah pretty much it. Uh, it's to check issues and things with the mods. Um, once you've gone ahead and played around with that a little bit, then you can go ahead and press the OK tab, and that'll bring you back here. There's also an Options tab here. If you press this, this will show you the same screen earlier, except you can download, sh uh, change to snapshots. Um, the Downgrade tab uh, isn't working very well lately. I'm sure that SP614X will fix that eventually. You can also the force update thing also works kind of strangely, but uh, the you can get the latest version of Magic Launcher if you want to. You can change your language, get news, and browse through your Minecraft folder location. Um, so after you go ahead and do all that, just press login. It's going to bring you straight into Minecraft. Um, it is working very slowly for me right now, but I'm sure once you guys press that, it will be completely fine. Um, it's because my Minecraft.jar is in a different place right now. 
Um, but really have fun with this. Um, error connecting to server, you can just press play offline if you want to. So I'll go ahead and do that, and boom, Minecraft. Uh, then go ahead and enjoy. Uh, if you guys want to like and subscribe, that would really help the channel out. The, also, the links will be in the description for anything else I've talked about in this video. And uh, yeah, guys, have fun with this cool Minecraft tool. And if you want to go ahead and uh, check out my other videos as well on uh, Multi-MC or the Minecraft default launcher, then go ahead and do that. Um, thanks guys, I'll be back with another video next week, and have fun playing Minecraft.